um, I mean, for me personally, we were trying to get me in that vault lineup, so it was warming up that, and that was a future goal. Um, and then we got to floor. That's, you know, the event that I've been competing in. Um, I don't know. It's just a weird landing. It was out of the blue. I just, there was a sharp pain in my ankle, just a random, random thing. And um, they made a safe call of not putting me in. Um, and um, rested through the weekend, got an x-ray on Monday. It was clear. Um, so we went with a strain. Um, didn't do much Monday. Tuesday I came in, and I honestly decided that, you know, like, it is what it is. Every, at this point in the season, everyone's hurting. There's not a person on my team who's not hurting, and if they can do it, so can I. Um, so I taped it up and, and needed to do what I needed to do. Oh, thank you, ladies. I feel good <laughs> when I did. Um, but I couldn't have done it if, if the lineup didn't do what they were supposed to do, too. Um, so that was, that was confidence um, instilled in me from them. She probably doesn't know. <laughs> we hadn't seen a score sheet. <laughs> my, my journalism, journalist math is correct. Um, so that's a great night, you know, but are you frustrated a little bit that y'all didn't get the win at the same time? And how, how do you yeah. avoid feeling from that other performance? I mean, yeah, there's always a little frustration because that's the goal. The goal is to win the meet, but um, it's the third meet. We knew that Florida was going to be a hard competitor. We knew that um, we didn't have a the most fantastic past two meets, and so we were um, honestly, like, just focusing on ourselves and improving the little things, and I think yeah. that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we broke the 197. We had hit routines. Um, we had just little, little improvements that maybe in the overall scheme of things, like, oh, we lost, but, like, if you look at the details, we did improve. We, mm -hmm. um, so we're in the right direction. Um, I'm not worried about, um, going into next weekend, um, I think that it's still a learning process. Um, we still have a we have a young team, so it's just um, getting back in the gym and continuing what we're doing and making those little progresses um, to meet our end goal. Uh, Dee, how did you feel about McKenna's uh, floor routine at the end of the day? I thought it was a monster effort. Um, I thought she, she just she showed the the tenacity that we need. We, you know, I had I'd been, my goal was to be able to move her to the end of the lineup this week. It was also my goal to be able to get Lexi in the lineup and let her start doing floor um, at home. Maybe not every week. Um, Juliana's ready to go. Juliana's ready to vault, and you know she played. She's a, a great role player. But I felt like the momentum that we were able to carry, and especially you know if we had a little glitch in the middle of the lineup, that last three people just picked it up and and drove it home. So um, I'll, I'll take a monster effort and a slight. Uh, it was it was so close. It was so close, and we you know we couldn't ask the kids to to give us more enthusiasm. We couldn't ask the the crowd to 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 make as big a difference as they did. It was um, I'm going to say it a third time. It was a monster effort, and you know the from the band to the the student section and all of our seats and ticket holders. It was just a a great night. I had more fun at this meet. Huh? I said I had more fun at this meet than that cow. <laughs> yeah, it was more fun. Obviously, it's a subjective sport, but you know, how do you reconcile that when you think it's obvious the crowd was chanting for a ten? And you think yeah. Nine, you think it's at least nine, nine zero. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, we, we know where there were some little bit of landing <laughs> shuffles, and we, we didn't let her take many hard landings this week at all. So, you know, you know going into this, um, you know, we had some, you know, Kennedy Edney didn't stick her double Arabians. I mean, we had some things that we know are going to get better as we move forward. Um, but I, I, can't, I can't slight this team. We, we practiced hard this week in preparation for this meet, and I think we'll be able to go back in the gym next week and do the same thing again in preparation for um, being at Alabama, which is a tough place to compete. Um, we want to go there and, and win that one, and that'll be our focus. You know, give us a little while this weekend and uh, go Saints, and then we'll be in the gym getting ready for, for our next opponent. But you mentioned Kennedy having trouble in that first, uh -huh. that first pass right there. What do you think that she is? I, I just think it's just, you know, we only do soft landings in the gym. I don't have her do any hard landings, and um, maybe maybe we'll adjust that a little bit as we move forward. But 
Um, here, we've had a, a hamstring issue with her that we've had to kind of go slow with. So, you know, I can't, I can't slide her. She gave us everything she had on, on bars, everything she had on beam, took a step on vaulting. So, I mean, we, we know exactly where this meet was lost, but, uh, or, you know, where we could get better, you know, and, you know, we'll see Florida two or three more times. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> Listen, you're never going to know. Uh, I'll answer where yes. No, I didn't request. We put an inquiry because um, start value on one of the routines was incorrect, and the meet referee adjusted Bridget Dean's score. Uh, it went up slightly from a 9.7. I think right. to a nine eight maybe, and well, Florida's got a review going on right now about uh, timing on a flow routine. So we'll see how that ends out. Because sometimes when you do these reviews, um, they find another mistake in there that they didn't see before. So you know we'll see how that how that goes. <laughs> uh, they said the the routine they the timer timed the routine, it started the clock before she moved, which would have made the routine maybe four or five seconds too long. So they took a time deduction. So we'll see if they find another deduction in that routine, another neutral deduction in that routine. It might level itself out. So what a close meet. I'm, I'm coming from kind of a layman's perspective. Is, this, is that enough to maybe change the, the outcome? Potentially. Yeah. It potentially could give them a fraction, or it could potentially not give them the fraction that they're looking for and be a deduction that may be more. I don't, it just depends if they decide to close the book on this or move it forward. Like I should be out there screaming and hollering and stomping my feet, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It seemed like there's a little contentiousness after the meeting between your staff and your staff. Um I think they were trying to make their point that they were right, you know, and um I don't particularly think that they're right. I don't think that you can take a, a stopwatch and a camera and get the same time. The camera might, the timing on the camera may be different than the timing on the stopwatch when they actually time the routine. I feel like you should not be able to um, use a stopwatch and a camera to, to check whether a, a routine was overtime or under time because it could be the fault of the camera now. So it, but they didn't ask me what I think. <laughs> What's the length of time? Um, a minute and 30. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you could say something about, about Sarah, I mean, she passed Maya for ninth place on the career. Oh, wow. List. Congratulations, Sarah, Sarah Finnegan. Yeah. 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 I mean, she has a chance to finish, you know. Six, yeah. But, you know, or so, I mean, way up there, you know, on the list. Just, you know, Who does she have to beat? <laughs> Ashley and putting me on the front. No, jeez. No, jeez. Ashley Richard Woods. <laughs> Jennifer Wood, yeah. Jennifer Wood. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> that's right. I'll take I'll take Sarah Finnegan. I'm glad she's on our team. Obviously, you've got a lot of great gymnasts, but she has a chance to finish. Really yeah. Great up there the Consistency wins, and you know she has has proven to be that consistent performer, kind of the the glue at the end of our lineup, and uh, we're very excited to have McKenna now in potentially three events. I mean, because she was the alternate on beam and uh, warmed up like a champ, so. Um, we're we're going to be able to have some competition now in our inner squads that I think are going to push this team to, to get a little bit better. Uh, there are positives, but particularly the, the negative is if you, if you don't get the score the way you do, the SEC regular season championship is probably up the window. Could be. But it's early. It's early. Yeah. I mean, we, we could yeah, run the table. We could run the table the rest of the season, and Florida, Auburn could beat Florida, and then, you know, something could happen, and something could happen, and then, hmm. Who knows? That's why we're going to play it all the way to the end. So how are you guys going to keep the morale with the team after a very tough emotional loss and going up against another really good SEC team in Alabama? Um, I mean, would we have liked a win tonight? Absolutely. But our goal is not to walk out right now. That's not – tonight wasn't the championship. Um, the goal is to peak at the right time. And if you've seen meet after meet, we're doing that. We're making those – Progressions, we're getting better. We're we're fighting in the gym. Um, our goal this week was to, to to be demanding, to be aggressive, and I think that's exactly what we did tonight. So I'm really proud of this team. We kept the momentum going. We kept the ball rolling. Um, I just think we need to take tonight's performance, take that back to the gym, and add some. Um, 
and we're going to be just fine. Yeah, it was nice to have a, another 10 vault in our in our lineup of vaults. McKenna did a vault that had a 10 start value. And when, when you can add that to your vaulting lineup, you could potentially have a, a two to three tenth advantage over another team. So be, us being able to add add a 10 start value vault was was huge. Now, of course, Sarah Edwards falling on her 10 vault kind of, but Sarah scored so well, it was like having another 10 vault in the lineup. So that, that was very encouraging to, because that vault she started working last year and we've just kind of, or the year before, and just kind of developed it. And she did a lot of drill work while she couldn't do uh, other things. So the preparation for that vault has been fabulous. Okay, were you able to put, you know, Auburn and, and you know, being injured all last year out of your mind? How, how, how did you, how, how much confidence were you able to approach your injury? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think about last year. I think about being present and being in the now. And when your lineup, when the girls before you go up and hit, it, it makes your job so much easier. Um, something Jay's told us to think about, whether the person in front of you hits or not, you still have your job to do. Um, so thinking about that and keeping the focus, keeping the vision, the tenacity, bringing that forward, um, and the crowd, of course, really helps that um, get that going.